Hello, Paul is the best for UK here and welcome to my video. In this video I'm going to attempt to show you how to use Doom Master to make a D8-2 compilation for the Commodore 64 Mini. Now first of all you've got to download and install Doom Master. Make a new disc, a D8-2, as you can see it's got 4133 blocks free. So that's quite big for a Commodore 64, so it allows us to make our compilation. I've got some games, D64 games as the challenge. Rick Dangerous 2 which is a multi-load game, M Midnight Resistance, which is also a multi-load game, and something called Fibar, F-I-B-R, it's an automatic menu generator, so if you stick that in first, just drag and drop, and make sure that Fibar program is at the very top of the D D8 too. Now if you double click any of the D64 that you've downloaded, you'll see that there's a PRG file, or a number of PRG files in there, so you can see that this has got Aztec Challenge, 63 so if you just drag and drop that's as the challenge done that's added to your d8 too now it's not always as straightforward as that as you'll see in a minute rick dangerous 2 for example is a multi-log game so it's got multiple files but you can see that the main program is 153 so that's bigger than the rest of the files if you look at the numbers these little numbers are levels and extra data. Same with this one here, Midnight Resistance, you'll see it's 162 on the left. But the rest of the files, all the other PRG files, are a lot smaller. Now with multi low games it's a bit more complicated because you've got to put the main game in. That will get the game to the title screen on most games. So to make it neat, we can... I'll just drag, drag the uh, main file there, which is 153 bytes or whatever blocks 153 blocks and you see that this midnight resistance is also a big file at the top 162 blocks now if you double click the file when it's in your d 2 you can actually rename it to something that lo looks a bit better i always like to do that on my d 8s so that's rick dangerous 2 there now midnight resist i would rather just try and call it as close to the uh the main game name as possible. There isn't enough space, I'll just put me not resist that. But you you will remember I'm saying that you need all of these support files as well or the game won't run. It will run to the title screen but it won't load in any levels because it's a multi load game. So you can well I've just made a bit of an error there. You can drag these DL sometimes games have these DEL files which is just like a REM statement I think just like a line breaker so just drag that under your game selections and then just drag all the support files for all the games that you might have doesn't matter which order as long as they're all on the d8 too as well so if we uh, add that in I uh, did that wrong there just cancel out of that a minute I've probably got I've got to extend the uh, window so it fits that's better so I just put the Rick Dangerous support files in there as well and yeah so there we go we've got there's our main games up there and all underneath this line is the support files the line isn't necessary it just makes it look a bit tidier you'll see why later so now you can that's it that's basically all you've got to do so if you save as and then you uh, put it as the uh, correct format that the Commodore 64 Mini uh, wants, so it's the, the C64. No, sorry, that's not right. It's not underscore. It's not actually. You can't. You can tell I didn't rehearse this video. So D64 in capitals dash drive eight. Now, if we uh, find that file we've just saved. One second. I'll bring it over here in a minute. So I'm using multiple monitors and I'm just trying to find the way it is. Here it is. So you see it's a D8 too. So if we re even though it's a D8 too, we still need to rename the extension as D64 and make sure file extensions are visible in Windows where you could get D82.D64 which won't work. So now all you've got to do is copy that onto your USB pen 
and that's ready for C64 Mini. Now insert your newly created uh, pen into your C64 Mini hub or your C64 Mini itself. I use this very cheap Penland style hub, works great. Of course power it on. And with any D8 II, you must load the game in first and exit back to the carousel. I normally choose Alley Cat and that's the first game you'll see. So all you've got to do is literally start it and then exit it. Now if you go over to C64 Basic, do your normal routine of loading in a D64. Load, do your normal routine of loading in a D64. And lo and behold, here we have, after this little countdown, your menu. You'll notice that all the games at the top have the uh, joystick icon, that means you can load them. That dashes is what that line was earlier, it makes it look a bit tidier. Anything under there is just support files that you can ignore. And hopefully, with any luck, you should have a working game and a working compilation. Just bear in mind that some games have got joystick port 2 problems and stuff, but yeah, that's how basically how you make the 8 compilation. Hope this helps. We've got people goodbye.